Hello, and welcome to TechBoost TV. I'm Jaime, and today I'm going to show you how to install a perk into the Dell PowerEdge R610. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and ensuring the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you will not need any tools. Please check out the quick spec link in the description below to learn more about perk controllers for the Dell R610. Also check with the system manual and comply with any recommended safety instructions. First ensure the server is properly powered down and the power cord is unplugged. Next press and hold the power button until the light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. Please make sure to check with the system manual and comply with any recommended safety instructions. To open the system, lift the top latch and pull the panel back and up to remove it. You will install the controller into the dedicated internal storage slot. If you need to install the cables, first remove the fan assembly by lifting the blue levers and pulling up lightly on the assembly. Once loosened, disconnect the blue fan connections and remove the entire unit. The battery unit snaps in on the front side. Wind the battery cable through the side ensuring to snap it into the small clip as well. Leave the cable in for now. Next, connect both SAS cables into the respective slots on the back plane. A to A and B to B. Wind the cables through the side slot and small groove under the internal storage slot. Now lift the cables up slightly so that you can slide the perk underneath. Push the perk into the black retainer first, then push back slightly on the blue retainer to push the card in. Now you can connect the card. Next, connect the SAS connections into the respective connectors, A to A and B to B. Also connect the battery cable. Lastly, carefully replace the fan assembly and reconnect each fan. Then attach and close the outer panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, memory, and other component installation for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy with requesting additional content.